La 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 la! I can't hear you. I'm not listening. If you hadn't infected my suit, we wouldn't be stranded here in this forsaken. I object to the term infected. Some of my best friends are viruses. I prefer the term select. Get the hell out of my suit, you annoying little bug. That's Mr. Little Bug to you. And I would love to leave this rapidly ripening Robbie the Robot fat suit, Miss All Natural. But it appears that we are stuck with each other. Besides, there's nothing stopping you from leaving my suit. Actually, Arthur, that's not a bad idea. What are you doing? You took me serious. You're not supposed to do that. You'll be unprotected. Don't drink the water! Commander, I'm receiving a priority message from Frontier Outpost Helm. On main screen. The vessel has ignored all hailing attempts. All electronic systems were disrupted when it arrived. Our station is beginning to drift. Any symbiotry ships within this sector, please assist. Can we make it there in time? No, sir, we're too far. Scanners indicate that there's a large vessel next to the outpost. Wait. Commander, I'm detecting a huge displacement wave emanating from the space around the vessel. There are more ships appearing on the border. All systems are shorting out. Energy levels are up, escape! Outpost Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Please respond. Can you hear me? Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Please respond. Are you reading me? Please respond. Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Can you respond? Do you hear me? They have returned. Remove the power cores. But, sir, you have your orders, Dalton. Hold it, Will. Agent Blackwood. The decree was just handed down from the Earth World Senate. We can't just shut everything down. This is insanity. We have a responsibility to safeguard history, Commissioner. That responsibility has been revoked. All time travel operation has been suspended. Gage, this comes from higher up. What about Agent 3? She's still out there hiding in the stream. We already know what she's capable of. We can't shut down TSA with her at the large. The Agent 3 case has been closed. There's no evidence she survived. We've scoured the time stream for a month and turned up nothing. She's gone, Gage. She knows exactly how we coordinate pursuit missions. With her training, she could easily be avoiding detection. We're making a tragic mistake, Jack. I have orders to deliver all jumpsuit cores to the World Senate. I will appeal there and fight this with all my influence. Until I settle this, I need you to uphold the suspension and take command of the TSA. Can I count on you, Gage? Yes, sir.
Elliot. Your fears have been confirmed. The Kothalas have returned. Oh, I, I should have told him more when he came. Now my people, my planet, are in terrible danger. Old friend, I need you to do something for me. friend. May you find peace at last. One thing I didn't tell you, Gage. You're gonna have to do the rest without me. <laughs> I'm the virus. Thanks for the adventure. I'll see you on the other side. What are you still doing here, Gage? I was hoping to jog some memories of this. It's strange. I don't remember anything of Arthur. It's not strange at all. You were mind-wiped. Those synapses, those memories are gone. Those events had to be selectively erased. I know I shouldn't remember him, but... I feel an absence I can't explain. When Agent 3 captured me, Arthur sacrificed himself to save my life. From these logs, I can tell we endured a lot together. I can't recall a single moment. That's it! She just hooked up the pipeline I needed! I'm gonna swim up and see if I can stop her. Good, you're awake. Don't bother trying Gage, to you gotta see this. Fallon Prison. It was only ten years ago today that his plot to assassinate the Sirolan delegate during Earth's induction into the Symbiotry was thwarted by the heroics of Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Security Agency. Sinclair will be remembered as both the greatest scientist of our time and as the greatest threat to Earth's history. Once again, Dr. Elliot Sinclair, the father of time travel, has died at Vega Thalon Prison. Not now! I've pinpointed the rip, origin Mediterranean 1262 BC. It's caused a... Gage. There's a temporal distortion wave heading towards the present and it's amplifying exponentially. Agent 3, she's finally made her move now. The TSA is completely crippled. Will, you have to install a new core for my suit. Commissioner Baldwin took all the cores. We don't have time to construct a new one. There must be something. What about reactivating the Pegasus device? That old time machine? Not a chance. It's been shelled for years. Gage, we're suspended. We don't have many options. Forget the suspension, Will. That wave will rewrite history. There must be a way to stop it. something for me. Damn it, Will. Tell me how to go back while there's still time. There's one very dangerous possibility. Follow me. I'm not supposed to show this, even to you. But under the circumstances, well, here it is. The chameleon jumpsuit. keeping a secret from me. I began working on the prototype about a year ago. It utilizes holo technology, allowing an agent to assume any virtual disguise in its database. It was intended for your deep time research unit. Someone performed a stream dive with it. You'd be the first, but I suppose that's nothing new. Gage, 
If you go, Commissioner Baldwin may never grant you another command again, or, or worse. Baldwin knows it's my job to preserve history, Will. He'll understand. If he doesn't, then I guess I'll be cellmates with Agent 3 when I get back. Remember the smooth, sultry voice? It's me, Arthur! The Robin to your Batman! The Jekyll to your... Uh, heckle. The thing to your... thing. Well, why the long face? You remember me, right? Dimples! Remember the... Uh, from your blank stare, I would say that you don't. Oh well, I'm not hurt. But if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a look around and make myself at home. Uh, while I'm checking things out, I have a message from your pen pal. Agent 3? Yes, Miss Joy. She left it for whoever found the suit. My jumpsuit's the cause of the distortion wave. Once Arthur sends it to the TSA, the crisis will be over. I know everyone believes I'm a traitor, and I can't change that now. But what I have discovered is so incredible that I'm willing to turn myself in. But I can't risk being imprisoned before my discovery's investigated. So, you will follow my trail and see what I have seen. I have hidden three pieces of a time code that will lead you right to me. The first code piece is hidden in this environment, not far from here. Arthur has the coordinates for the other two time zones. You will soon figure out why I placed the codes where I did. In two of the environments, you want to go to the highest vantage point, but in the other, go to the lowest. I implore you. Keep your eyes and your mind open, and remember that your first duty is to history. Two months ago, you were taken from the past to help save your neck in the future. Together, we stopped Agent 3's plot to frame. But I got zapped into the time stream with her in the process. Once your name was cleared, the TSA sent you back to your own time without any memory of the adventure, so you don't remember me. But we're back now! Together, we'll find Agent 3 and bring her back alive. Oh, this will be more exciting than a pair of pants full of geckos. That derelict boat seems to be in a hurry to leave the island. Hold on, there's somebody on that boat. He looks familiar. Call me time-space happy, but I swear that's Dr. Elliot Sinclair. The scientist who invented time travel. The guy you put away for 10 to 20 at Vega Thalon. He could be Sinclair's distant cousin. And you know what that means. Baldness is hereditary. That Sirolan ship completely leveled that building. But the Sirolans are supposed to be the good guys. The founders of the Symbiotry. Why would our allies attack? We need to get to the bottom of this. Let me check out the time code. The time code you found is one-third of a temporal coordinate. With the other two pieces, I can triangulate Agent 3's location. Well, you found one of the codes. I assume I have your interest peaked. Now, find the other pieces. There's still much more to see.
like they mean business. What could they be searching for here? Gage, if we don't leave now, the master of the flying guillotine will finish us in a split second. Nice work, Gage. I'm computing the second piece now. Looks like she's pretty far. How can I tell you in terms you would understand? You know how long it takes to find humor in a Gallagher show? Well, in time-space terms, she's 1,000 Gallagher shows away. That third piece is essential to the coordinate. We need it if we want any chance to find her. Excellent. By now you understand the importance of my discovery. Go to the last environment. The final code piece will lead you right to my position. There were two different alien groups fighting over that city. I recognized the Sirolan ship, but I have no idea who those other vessels belong to. Maybe Agent 3 can explain more when we find her. Let's look at this time code. Hmm. We've got her! Computing her position now. According to these coordinates, Agent 3 is hiding 14 days before your present time on a different planet. Possibly Jupiter or Saturn. Okay. I have her position now. Be ready for anything, Gage. Gage, I didn't think the TSA would send you. How can you ignore what I've shown you? Think of your duty to history. What would you know about duty? You're coming with me now. Wait. Before you arrest me, there's someone here who may convince you further. Why do you plague me? In my final moments. You took away my lab. My life. Dr. Sinclair, I saw you in the past. Fleeing the destruction of Atlantis, what were you doing there? Atlantis! You saw its destruction? Then you know that the most beautiful city in history was destroyed by our benevolent protectors. Yes, I saw it all, Elliot. But why did the Sirolans attack? There are allies. They raised Atlantis. It was an unrelenting fire. When the Sirolans came back ten years ago, I tried to warn Earth. And nobody would listen. And I was imprisoned. By you. For my foresight. I need to know more. Who were the Sirolans fighting? Long ago, I believed in higher powers. I took it as my purpose to heal and shepherd the world. But the world turned its back on me. And this is my reward for a lifetime of faith. Goodbye, Agent Blackwood. Elliot.
anyone around here follow orders? William, the chameleon prototype was top secret. You're in this just as deep as gauges. You can't imagine the trouble you've caused us. Lock her up! I should throw you in with Agent 3 for insubordination. But the truth is, I need you. We're in the middle of a crisis. The Breaker Quadrant was attacked only hours ago. What? There hasn't been an attack on the Symbiotry in decades. Do we know who? We haven't been able to identify the ships. They smashed through our frontier outpost. They're on an intercept course for Earth. The Cerolans have cautioned us to ready our planetary defenses and are here to offer their support and counsel. Gage Blackwood, I am Gisela, the Cerolan ambassador to Earth. In this time of crisis, we have come to ask you for Those your aid. Those same ships have been on Earth before. They were fighting your people, ambassador. Gage, tell them what you saw. How the hell is she still here? Get her out of my sight. Agent 3 is right. While I was in the past, I saw a craft similar to that one battling Cerolan ships. I was in Atlantis, Ambassador. I know what your race did. What the hell are you talking about, Gage? Be calm, Commissioner Baldwin. My government has never permitted me to admit this. In your distant past, we defended your planet against a savage race, the Quothalas. When my race was young, an elder race called the Sosiqui had already passed. They left only whispered legends of their legacy a relic that contained their vast knowledge. A trail of legends led us to Earth, and it was at Atlantis that we met the Quothalos. Afterwards of peace failed. We both fought with a frightening passion for our birthright. When one of the Quothalos ships landed near the temple, we had no choice but to destroy the city. We still believe that action saved your world and many others. Your quest for the legacy? has resulted in the destruction of three civilizations from our history. The quote the laws were butchers. We saved your Earth from enslavement. After the destruction of Atlantis, we battled the Quothalos hordes for centuries. Twice more during your history, the legacy's influence resurfaced in the form of two highly advanced human cultures. Sadly, each of the cities were destroyed in brutal battles. After the third city fell, we were able to crush the Quothalos. We assumed they were gone forever. Commissioner, I'm receiving a message from deep space. Earth. You must turn over the legacy of time travel technology. The birthright of the Quothalos. If you do not, there will be dire consequences. The situation is desperate. The Symbiotry Defense Fleet is scattered, and the Quothalos Armada more formidable than ever. That is why we have come here. With the Legacy, we may be able to stop the Quothalos. Without it, the Symbiotry might not be able to protect Earth this time. You need us for our time travel technology. You're asking us to go back to the cities before their destruction to search for this Legacy. Let me go back, Commissioner. I've been to the cities. I can find this Legacy. At the very least, it will give the Earth a bargaining chip with the Quothalus. You wouldn't even know where to start looking. In each of the cities, the attacks seem concentrated over the central temples. The legacy may be hidden in one of them. It doesn't look as though we have much of a choice. But this is going to happen our way, Ambassador. This will be an Earth investigation only. The Earth government will be made aware of everything you've disclosed. My government should not have kept this from you for so long. I hope this will not hurt the kinship between Cyril and Earth. Very well, Gage. I'm sending you on a mission to search for this legacy. William, program three jump coordinates to each of the three cities approximately one day before they will be destroyed. They should be uploading to your suit in a moment. How will I know this legacy when I see it? All of the Cerolan legends describing the legacy are vague. This pendant is an ancient Sosiqui relic that our archaeologists discovered on another planet. We believe this symbol is a Sosiqui marking that represents their legacy. The true legacy might also bear this mark. 
Good fortune, Agent Blackwood. I can feel something the energy flowing from you. Show me what you have found. The subject was sheltered in one of the temples. Could it be the legacy? Yes. This is a relic of the Elders. It bears the mark. The other inscriptions are, are very complex. I will attempt to translate, but my knowledge of Sosigui is limited. We discovered long ago that several old Earth languages were actually primitive dialects of Sosigui. This is only a part of the true legacy. The inscriptions speak of three vessels, piously guarded, that hold the powers of the legacy. This is only one, but Gage has given us hope. Did you find objects like this in the other two temples? No, I haven't searched them completely yet. I briefed the World Senate on what's been going on. They lifted the suspension and have given us full sanction to search for the legacy. You must understand, Ambassador Yosala. TSA protocol requires that only agents stay in the command room. I understand, Commissioner Baldwin. If you need our assistance, you need but to ask. I will devote all my energies to slowing the advance of the Quotha loss. Don't. I want you to pour over every molecule of this thing and run these inscriptions to our language database. We need information. I'm gonna need someone knowledgeable to help me analyze this. Not to question your judgment, sir, but you just kicked that someone out. I need to know who I can count on in a crisis. The only people I can fully trust are my agents. Bring Michelle back. She's an expert linguist and historian. Agent 3? She's a criminal, what's worse, a traitor. She captured and imprisoned you, remember? No, I don't. That memory was erased. But she did give herself up to give us this chance. Put her under house arrest. Do whatever you have to do, but bring her back. We need her. I can't do this alone. Very well. I'll release her. But if she slips up once, she's history. I think she might surprise you. I'll be back when I find another of the artifacts. You should know. The Cathalus have entered Symbiotry's space. They are ignoring all other planets and continuing towards Earth. It is doubtful the Symbiotry defenses will slow them. Time is now our enemy. Excellent work, Gage. While you were gone, Dalton and Michelle discovered something remarkable about the first artifact. We concentrated our efforts on the overlapping symbols covering the artifact. With a little luck, we found formulae beneath several layers of inscriptions. And this is the remarkable part. The formulae details the physics necessary for time travel. The very same physics that powers our own jumpsuits. So the secret of time travel is purposely hidden in our past? Dr. Sinclair invents that same technology centuries later. Dear Lord, what is this thing? Quothalus have entered the Earth system? Nothing has deterred them. They've ignored the Sorolan Ambassador's plea for peace talks. The Symbiotry appears powerless. It looks like it's all up to us. I'll find the last artifact. the third artifact. You're just in time, Gage. The Quothalus, they just entered Earth's orbit. 
It won't be long before they locate the TSA. Receiving a high priority communication from the Sorolan cruiser Aquila. We have felt a great disturbance from the TSA. You have the legacy. If we have sensed it, believe that the Quotha lost know as well. We are sending Sorolan sentinels to assist you. Kothalas have breached the outer shielding. All security teams prepared to intercept. I say again, the Kothalas have breached Gage, the outer shielding. Gage, before everything gets even more chaotic, I... I just wanted to say... Well, be careful. Legacy was meant for all races. Agent Blackwood! Quickly, give us the legacy! The course of loss will destroy us all if they claim it! The Lord killers have no right to our legacy. Can't you see the cycle is happening again? Your two races are battling each other over something that's supposed to bring peace? I won't let you turn this place into another battleground. The Sosequi have long since transcended your universe. Our legacy has waited thousands of years for its proper heir. It contains the sum of our wisdom. It is the collective essence of what we were, and what we are, and what we will be. This knowledge must be tempered with maturity. Its secrets will be shared with the many races around the galaxy but only when they are ready for such an awesome responsibility. Until that time, the legacy will be safeguarded by beings who have already demonstrated their worth. Wielding the disciplines of time, matter, and life. Humans will claim their birthright and become the stewards of the Sosikwi legacy. They will share its knowledge with the galaxy when the other races have proven their worthiness. We understand the elders, and we will obey. Great fate lurks in the future of humankind. Elliot told me that often. You must be Gage Blackwood. 
I am. Your service was very touching, Reverend. You wanted to see me? Yes. Throughout his long life, Elliot always believed that it was his duty to guide humanity toward a destiny. But ten years ago, when the Sorolans came to invite us into the symbiotry, he misjudged and insisted that they had come to conquer. Blinded by his zeal to protect Earth, he acted rashly. I was imprisoned on Vega Thalon, yes, I know. I put him there. Gage, when you came to see Elliot, prison had already eroded his faith in humanity and his will to live. But he, he asked me to tell you that you were not responsible for his death. A great time is coming in our history, he said, and he believed that you would help to usher it in. That thought comforted Elliot in his last moments. I want to thank you for coming, Gage. Thank you, Reverend. He was a great man once. You know, his death really wasn't your fault. Gage, I wanted to thank you. I didn't expect to see you at my hearing, but because of your testimony, they commuted my sentence. You redeemed yourself. I only spoke the truth. Yeah, but you put your reputation on the line after everything I did to you. It's all in the past, Michelle. And we both know we can't change the past. Have you decided whether you're going to accept the Symbiatry's offer? No, I haven't. I told them I needed more time. Retirement's not your style, Gage. Besides, I think your ego would swell up too much if I had to call you Mr. Ambassador to the quote the last sir. Arthur? Remember, Commissioner Jack wanted you at the ceremony early. Why did I agree to that? Why, because you saved the world again. All by yourself, with absolutely no help from your all friends. All right, all right, point taken. I won't forget to mention you. Oh, thank you, kind sir. And when will this magnanimous mention occur? After dessert or during the cab ride home? I couldn't have done anything without you. Even though Genghis Khan would make a big splash at our reception, I need to assume a more formal chameleon, guys. Something macho. Gage, do we have time to jump back and meet Dick Clark? Who? Never mind. He'll probably be at the party.
Paige, your theme music is lovely, but uh, I think it's about time we played a little something for the kids. A two, a three, a two, three, four. Dun, 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 Arthur. Dun, 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 they called him Arthur. Dun, 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 he was an artificial intelligence that was cool. Arthur, dun, 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 they called him Arthur. Dun, dun, they thought that his singing was annoying, but he was no fool. Artificial as soap. Artificial as rope. Artificial, artificial. He will find the love that is the one for Arthur's the lonely one. Arthur.